Okay, this is Lynette Frazier, and I'm going to tell you the tale of Norman and his donkey. Well, Norman, this is him, and this is his best friend, Donkey. Norman rides on top of his donkey. As you can see, Norman, Donkey. The N and the D each have two meanings. They don't just stand for Norman the donkey. You may know where I'm going with this. Can you predict what they mean? The N and the D means Norman and the donkey. N and the D also means numerator and denominator. See how the numerator's on top? Norman loved to play outside with his friend Donkey. They play soccer. See the soccer ball. They play tag. They play hide and seek. One day it started to rain and Norman had to go inside. See the rain. His mom said, don't bring that donkey in my house. So the donkey had to stay outside. See, Norman is in the house. The donkey's outside. See the house right there? As a number example, let's say Norman is the number three, and he's being divided by the number four. So Norman is your dividend. Four is the divisor, like the fraction three-fourths. And see, three goes into the house, and the four is outside. The donkey is stuck outside the house. Norman was ridiculously bored all day by himself in the house. See Norman? The numerator, he's here in the house. Well, he had his soccer ball, so he kicked it around the house. What happens when you start kicking a ball around the house? Something breaks. The soccer ball went through the roof. Boom! That just happened. So you can see you need a decimal point like the soccer ball and you're going to kick it through the roof. So your decimal point is right next to the three and it's also going to go through the roof. You need it in both locations to keep yourself lined up. So the tale continues. Remember it was raining outside. With a hole in the roof, what do you think happened next? Rain started to puddle in the house. It rained and made three puddles in the house. One, two, three big puddles. You could have more puddles if you want to. And if at past the decimal, you can have as many as you want to. And you could probably see what they represent. The three big circles represent the three zeros, which should go after the decimal point. Now you are ready to divide the donkey into Norman. The dividend into the divisor. You're dividing the divisor into the dividend. Yes. Here we go. They are still best friends, Norman and his donkey. So as you can see, that is set up and ready to divide. I'm going to, that's the end of the tale of Norman and the donkey. I'm going to finish the dividing with you and show you with my paint. Here we go. So you've got Norman inside the house. Oops, I should probably click paint first. You've got Norman inside the house. Norman was the the three. Oh boy, this is tough for a first try. Four is outside. You've got your decimal and your three big puddles. Remember, after the decimal point, you can add as many puddles as you feel like. So you've got our technique here that we use. You've got day, um, smell. This is the technique we're going to use. The DMSB, dead monkey smell bad, or dad, mother, sister, brother, however you were taught it. So here we go. First thing we do is divide. We're going to see how many times that the four goes into three. Oh, it doesn't. Now remember, we got to kick that soccer ball through the roof. And now, let's see, 4 into 30 is 7 times. That is a strange looking 7. Let's pretend that looks more like a 7. So that is our divide. Check. Now we're going to multiply. Check. 
7 times 4 is 28. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to have to practice this. Minus, boom, 2 left over. Oh, I guess I had to borrow first. That became a 2. That became 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. Now, that was our subtracting. Let's bring it down. Bring down the next 0. Here it is. 4 goes into 20 when you divide 5 times. Then we're going to multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. We're ready to subtract. Nothing left over. 75 hundredths is our answer. And remember, we know it's the hundredths place because if you put a 1 below the decimal and fill in the zeros, you would get to 100. Isn't that just gorgeous? All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Do not forget to complete your whack on this video. We've watched it. Watch it again if you need to. Analyze it with some sort of a summary of the main idea. And write a question about what you've seen.